I just hope our brakes hold here. Oh, that's cute. Thanks. <laughs> Feels so much better now. Oh, we got new brakes all the way around. Hey, everybody. Bill and Deb. Hey. We just finished climbing Mount Nebo, which is near Russellville, Arkansas. And everybody told us about it. And we thought, well, you know, can't be all that, that great. <laughs> but all I can say now is, holy cow. Holy cow. We started yeah. out at 360 feet elevation. And now we are at 1506. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and almost and straight up. Way down there. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if you can. I don't know if this, this camera will show you or not, but mm -hmm. there's a road down there that we... Came that up. we came up, and I don't know if he'll show up on the GoPro or not. We'll also take some photos and share it with you. Uh, my goodness, over there is Lake Dardanelle, but look at this view. And there's a fire going on over there. I don't know if you can see that or not. We drove past but that. We, yeah, <laughs> we, well, one of those. But we drove past a small brush fire, ah. I can see, okay. which they were just clearing land and burning. And way over there off in the distance, which you can't probably see with the GoPro, I can see the runway to the airport, the Russellville Airport. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. But holy cow. I don't like being this high. <laughs> <laughs> well, and evidently there's another lookout that they were telling us about that we haven't looked at yet. So we're getting ready to go uh, check it out. But this is uh, Mount Nebo State Park near Russellville, Arkansas. Uh, if you're ever up this way, check it out. But uh, whatever you do, don't try to pull a trailer up here. I oh mean, my gosh. The switchbacks are super, super... We met ourselves yeah. coming in the van. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, uh, I wanted to take you up the road, but for some reason my camera wouldn't kick on and I wasn't where I could pull over and, and uh, pull the battery out and put it back in to get my dash cam to start working. So uh, I couldn't bring you up, but we'll bring you back down here in a little bit. Down's going to be yeah. scarier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it is steep. Anyway, we're going to go check out the next site. Sounds good. Up we go. Garmin says at the moment says 1676. Well, not according so, to the official sign. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna go by the sign. I think we need to. Yep. Sunrise point to the left, ball courts to the left. You've got cabins you can rent to the right and a waterfall trail to the right. Let's go over here to the left. From what I understand, there's private homes up here, and uh, yeah. Yes, there are. How on earth did they build? I get material up here to build them. I don't know. And all these houses, and just imagine the view that those houses have, because this, you know, it's a drop off right after that. I know someone that would have a field day with their camera up here. Yes. Do you know who that I would know be, dear? I know who that would be. <laughs> there 
name starts with a J. Yeah, Jan. <laughs> Jan, you, you would here? have a holy my goodness. Look at that deck. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my word. And I bet this is Sunrise Point. Yes, it is. Why, yes. Yes, it is. My, my, my. <laughs> oh, boy, my, my, my. Now, the Garmin says uh, 1,717 feet is what the Garmin says. The yeah, but uh, the sign said 1,800. So, anyway, we're going to get out and look at it some more. Just moderate. A trail? Yeah. Sunrise to waterfall. That direction. There's a trail, evidently, down there. Okay. Sure. It, it is moderate. Okay. Sure. Seven five miles, so <laughs> it won't be me bopping it. Three but quarters of a mile. They call it Rim Trail. I bet it's gorgeous. Well, look at that uh, flat top right over there. You see yeah. the, how it's all. Yeah, Looks like it might have been burned off at one time or something. Yeah. Still no. Sunrise Point. Are you, uh, you got enough nerve to step out there on that? This? Yeah. This doesn't feel as unsteady as that other thing. Okay. All right. This is kind of cool. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jim Logan, for recommending this. My, 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 my. Look at that. Is this what we see from our campground? I don't know. I don't think so. Because it was right on the riverbank. This is just something else. You never would dream. To me, that the view here is every bit as spectacular, if not more spectacular, than the view from the top of Mount Magazine. Yeah. Yeah. But just look at that. There's one of those houses, just imagine, you know, waking up to this view every morning or sitting there in the evening. Of course, if this, this is sunrise, like you said, this is probably the east side. So you could watch the sunrise from here. Oh, oh man. We don't get up that early. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I would though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would for this. Wow. Just wow. Just wow. Well, let's go drive around and check out the campground that's up here. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go on up here and see what we got. Oh, yeah. We got to go up more? <laughs> well, I don't know. No, according to the Garmin, we're not as high as we were. I don't know that I trust it. You can rent no. cabins up yeah, here. Yeah. This is... Cabin. That was a cabin there. We just drove by. Cabin five. There's another five cabin to hit down there. Something tells me this circles back around to where we came in. Yeah, when I saw this little gray house, I thought of Jan. Yeah. Yeah, we thought of you, Jan, when we saw this little gray house right here. Almost looks like it might have been a church at one time. Nuclear one evacuation room. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what the sign Okay. Said. That's a cabin. You can rent that. Oh, well, that's a cabin. How about that? Yeah, they do have a nuclear plant here at Russellville. Nuclear power plant. Am I pronouncing nuclear right? I think so. Is it nuclear or nuclear? I have no clue. Well, I don't know. It's home part of the country you're from. I guess. I don't know. Some more older homes. It's been here forever and yeah. ever. Now, is this the campground here to the right? Let's see. See what it says. I'm pretty sure it is. Registration for cabins and camping at the yep. visitor center. It says campground to the right. Well, everything else is to the right. So, this will go right. Let's go in here and see what we got. Got a playground? Yeah.
That van right there is probably the biggest thing I've ever Yeah, here. I wouldn't want to count. <laughs> Agreed. But we're not mountain bikers, so. No. But yeah, it looks like you got. Pool? Yeah, looks, and there's several campsites down in here. Looks like we have uh, water and electric. Yeah. At these. Which would be perfect if you had a camper van or something like that. This being a state park. These may be first come, first serve. I do not know. I have no, to look that know. up and check it out. Nebo State Park near Russellville, Arkansas. If you ask me though, this is pretty darn cool. <laughs> These look like maybe rentals here. I would think. Yeah, Cabin Seven. Yep. They're not as cool as the ones on the no, ridge. Well, I imagine. <laughs> I imagine the ones on the ridge cost a little bit oh, more too, yeah, don't you? Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Well. This is the view from the visitor center. It's too bad the wind's blowing today, like it is. But still, that view is just absolutely spectacular. That's Lake Dartmouth down there. Okay. That is the nuclear plant on the other side of Lake Dardanelle right there. And this is uh, another shot from behind the visitor center. Gives you a really, really good view of the valley below. It's absolutely Spectacular, in my opinion. Absolutely spectacular. Here we go, going down. I knew going down would be worse than coming up. Karen, you can't come on this trip. No, Karen wouldn't be able to stand this. I don't think. I don't think so. I just hope our brakes hold here. Oh, that's cute. Thanks. It's so much better now. Oh, we got new brakes all the way around. Huh? I said, hmm. Well, they were new before we left. The, I was guessing before we left Arkansas yeah. a year ago, nine months ago. Yeah, <laughs> or whatever it was. It's all right. I've never used them the whole trip anyway. Mm. You're so cute. Look at that. Switch back. Uh-huh. Ten miles an hour. And when they show a sign like that, they're not kidding. No, they're pretty serious. Yeah. We do have several mountain bike trails up here. Oh, yeah. Here again, I'm going to go down. Bye. But obviously, some people don't mind. Yeah. We've got a lot more daring. And here we are. Yeah. He didn't want to get over, did he? No, he didn't. <laughs> He could get over a lot easier than I could. I was over as far as I could get. Of course, you know, I grew up driving cars that were 25 feet long. And here's one of the tighter switchbacks. No trail. <laughs> yeah. You almost need a mule. A pack mule. But this one is really, really tight right here. Oh man, is it tight. Now imagine trying to pull a trailer up that hole. Holy moly. Holy moly. Here's another one. 
guess I ought to swing the camera like that so you can see how we're. Yep. <laughs> What's the matter, dear? <laughs> I'm not real happy. Karen, are you watching this? No, Karen, Karen has Karen? already gone to the other room. <laughs> <laughs> She's already said, forget you. <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I'll try to go slow enough, dear, that if the brakes go out, you can jump out right quick. Mm, maybe I should unfasten my seatbelt. Here's belt. this. <laughs> <laughs> Another real tight switch back right here. Yeah, and I'm driving one hand while I'm controlling the camera with the other. <laughs> now this is an 18% grade when you're coming up. Well, going down too for that matter. There's a reason why they don't allow trailers more than 24 feet and I, I wouldn't even want to attempt that. You know? I mean, my goodness. This is hilarious. You okay, dear? I'm fine. Are you sure? No, but what choice have I got? Karen, if you decide you want to come up, maybe Brad will let me drive his truck up so we can all four go together. Since I'm familiar with the road, you know? <laughs> I'm going to quit the piece of Karen. Love you, Karen. Okay. Now I've got the transmission locked in second gear. And if I really thought I needed more help, I could go ahead and pull it down and low. But the brakes feel really, really good. But you know, we go from near 18,000 feet to 600 feet in like, what? Well, it's actually Four miles. 300, yeah, and then it was 360. That's right, at the bottom, at the very, very bottom in town in Russellville, you're at 360 feet. Right. Yep. Right now, the garment is showing that we're still at 727 feet. Yeah, the worst is over. And when we hit this part coming up, I thought, man, no wonder they don't allow 24, bigger than 24 foot trailers. But then when I got on up there, I realized here's the real reason why. But this is a beautiful drive coming up here. A lot of beautiful homes to go by. All right, I think we're down to the bottom. The Garmin says 382 feet. I'd say we're at the bottom. I'd say we're at the bottom. All right, we made it. Guy right on my tail because I'm not driving fast enough. Speed limit's 35 and I'm driving 40. He'll survive. He's wanting to push me out of the way. Well, I cannot believe that we lived in northwest Arkansas all those years and didn't take the time to drive that two hours or so down there to uh, Mount, Mount Nebo, Nebo <laughs> State Park for a day trip. Well, you, you know, know, we were busy raising kids and working. <laughs> this is true. This is true. We were. Except the kids we probably would have enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. They would have really enjoyed that uh, for sure. They would have walked the trail. Yeah. They would have. <laughs> they would have. They would have got right up on the edge and made us a nervous wreck. Yes, they would have. <laughs> Our grandkids as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Mount Nebo State Park uh, is a beautiful state park. And if you happen to be in the area, you know, it would behoove you to go visit the park or if you uh, want to go camping up there, you'll have to check, uh, you know, look it up online or make some phone calls or something. I'm sure there's a way you can get a hold of somebody to find out what's involved in renting a campsite up there. Exactly. But do remember, you know, I wouldn't want to attempt to try to pull our trailer up there, uh, but uh, that doesn't mean someone else, you know, exactly couldn't do it. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but they do have a limit. It can't be over 24 feet long, and I'm pretty certain that um, when they say 24 feet, that includes the tongue length, as, the tongue well, as well. Just, you as know. you saw, those are pretty tight corners. Yeah, very, very <laughs> tight corners. Now, if you're into hiking, there's all kinds of hiking trails, obviously, all over. 
Mount Nebo up there. And mountain bike yeah. trails. Yeah, and mountain bike trails. Now, if you have an e-bike, the only kind of e-bike they will allow on that is a Class 1. And a Class 1 e-bike is uh, one that does not have an independent throttle. It works by pedal assist only. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me why, but oh well. Oh well. Uh, maybe someone can explain that to me. We don't make the rules. No, we don't. <laughs> and our e-bike, I'm sorry, your e-bike, I'm not supposed to tell anybody I have one yet. <laughs> Uh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, coming but, soon. Uh, <laughs> ours are uh, can are class two and can be upgraded to class three, which I doubt if that'll. I have no know. desire to do that. Well, mine could be upgraded to class three. Mine's just fine the way. I'll leave you Thank in the you. dust. That's all right. On that bike that I do not have yet. Anyway, anyway, be sure and check it out. It's a beautiful uh, place up there. They have a beautiful campground. They even have a swimming pool, you know, right there next to the campground, which we didn't, you know, take time to show. But there's a lot to see up there, and they have multiple cabins to rent up there. Yeah, that's and beautiful. some of them are along the ridge, which I, you know, I wish we could have went out and maybe walked into one and walked through it to see what kind of view they had out the back I'm sure door. It's same as one at yeah. the. Um, uh, gift shop. Yeah, at the gift. Yeah, uh, when you the, walked uh, out, I'm sure the cabins have that yeah. same view as we had. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, the view is just absolutely out of this world. There. It's a gorgeous place, and it is a steep climb. Yeah, be sure top. and check it out. Now I know all you Coloradians. You know, yeah, is that correct, Coloradians? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I told you this morning. We'll kind of make fun of us, you know, uh, climbing, out, climbing know. West, up, make fun up in the Rockies, us. but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, when you're climbing up at 18% grade for a little over four miles, that's, that's something, you know. <laughs> and then you get up there and there's that beautiful view. But uh, anyway, we are uh, back in northwest Arkansas. That's about all we're going to say right now. Of course, we've got to take care of business while we're here. We've got to take care of our routine doctor visits. Routine doctor visits. Routine doctor visits. And a few other things while we're here and uh, get all caught up with the children and the grandkids and everything. Got, and Got a high school graduation to go to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he can't be, gr he's way, he's only. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> One of our grandsons, you know. No, he's all he's, grown up. Or I remember he is. when he. Uh, I remember when we gave him a whole chocolate cake to play with on a, what his first, first birthday. birthday. <laughs> I still remember that like it was yesterday. I'm sorry. You know, and literally, his mom baked him a cake and she set it right down there uh, in on front his of him. High chair. In his high chair, and he just went after it <laughs> and uh, just made a mess and. But and here he is graduating now. now. Now he's all grown up, and driving a car, and dating girls, and got a job. Got a job. <laughs> I swear, Logan, you weren't supposed to do that, young man. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna let you go for now. We have a lot more content coming up shortly, so please stay tuned for that. And I guess, I guess we need to say, AccuWeather. You told me the sun would be shining today. Was well, earlier. Yeah. Anyway, regardless of the fact that the sun is not shining or not, is shining or not. Is shining or not. Still, we're not camping. We are living. Y'all get out there and do some living, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.